In 2023, are you planning to construct the best gaming computer? The greatest PC setups at different price points have been assembled in this guide, which is updated each month in 2023 depending on the hardware that performs the best for the money paid. What better time to start constructing your own computer than 2023, which has shown to be the best year in a very long time to build a PC? Welcome to the channel, subscribe, get ready to delve and dive in to build a gaming PC in 2023. To be frank, it's seductive to consider developing a gaming computer. That may not sound like it, I understand. However, in the present era, a lot of people have started switching over to gaming PCs because a PC often offers you a lot of value because it can be used for many other purposes. It's enjoyable to build your own gaming computer, and there are numerous advantages in doing so, such as the flexibility to personalize and modify your computer. We all have a budget to stick to, even if constructing your own computer can be more cost-effective. This is where the following computer projects come into play. Even if you may purchase one of the finest gaming computers and simply plug it in, building your own desktop is more satisfying. You have complete control over everything when you assemble your own gaming computer, from the motherboard's precise brand and model to the chassis' design and the number of RGB fans. Also, you'll probably save hundreds of dollars compared to the price of purchasing a pre-built system by building your own computer from parts. For instance, a desktop with specifications equal to but slightly below our best $1,000 PC design will currently cost you at least $1,324 at Best Buy. We've produced recommended parts lists for every price range from a dirt cheap sub $500 system to an inexpensive sub $1000 build to a $4000 plus dream machine for those with significant money to assist you in putting together the greatest PC build for gaming or productivity that you can obtain. How to choose and price the best PC builds? Remember that testing of the essential components in each construction, particularly the CPU, GPU and SSD, is what led to these suggestions for the finest PC builds. In the next sections, we'll also suggest GPUs rather than certain brands and models of graphics cards. Instead of, say, the Zotac RTX 4070 Ti, we might advise an RTX 407 Ti and include a link to a list of available cards. With the frequent pricing and inventory changes in the market, you should get the most cost-effective third or first-party card with the GPU you want. You'll notice that a lot of recommended and top-rated computer configurations employ Intel CPUs. This is due to the fact that Ryzen 7000 CPUs are now pricey low-end budget solutions to their expensive motherboards and DDR5 memory. Moreover, Intel's CPUs outperform them in gaming at the top end. This might change with some forthcoming AMD chips. You want to construct an entry-level, mid-level or a high-level gaming computer? Choosing the level of gaming PC you want to build is, in all honesty, the first step in building a gaming PC. You see, unlike consoles, PCs are a little more complex, and while you can always buy pre-built PCs to save yourself the trouble, you will also lose any information you might acquire during the building process. Hence, the first step is to sort things out so that we can move on and pick which aspects you should pay attention to. Number 1. Entry Level Your starting point will be your entry level gaming computer. You think, okay, I want to start gaming at this point. Where should I begin? These levels may be the simplest to enter because they need little investment in terms of both money and time to select the appropriate components. To begin with, anyone looking for an entry-level computer should aim for a target resolution of at least 1080p because anything less is appalling. Games that you would often play on a console can be readily targeted by an entry-level computer and played with the same settings or frame rates, sometimes even better. The idea is to start at 30 FPS and maintain that speed for as long as possible, in some games even 60. Although it may seem unachievable, even entry-level hardware has improved in the past several years, making it both more accessible and capable of providing the necessary gaming experience. Number 2. Mid-Level The mid-range options in the market for a solid gaming PC are the next thing on this list. Once more, you have the option of choosing pre-built or building your own. The likelihood is that you will spend more money overall this time than you did the last time, though. This indicates that in addition to receiving powerful hardware, you will also receive superior peripherals, which will help to enhance your quality of life. The 1080p resolution would still be popular at this level, but with increased frame rates starting at 60fps or higher. 
Yet, several games may be played at 1440p with respectable frame rates. Due to their high accessibility, mid-range PCs are typically the most popular. Number 3. High End this is the time to spend all of your money and buy the best that money can buy. In the current environment, this is difficult because many parts are not readily available, but if you want to spend money, there is no greater price range. The more you invest, the better your computer will get over time. Modern graphics cards like RTX 3080 and beyond can easily go past 100 frames per second on 4K resolution as well. Higher-end PCs often aim 1440p at 100fps and beyond. Again, this seems like a dream, yet this is how the zenith of gaming frequently seems. If you get to this level, you can get all of the greatest peripherals and components. While upgrading and adding new features is a constant process, higher-end PCs do have a tendency to last the longest because of how well-rounded and fast they are. Now that we've discussed the various computer tiers available, it's time to start paying attention to the age-old query. The debate over whether to purchase a pre-built or a custom-built computer has split the PC world for many years. The benefits are present on both sides, yet as a PC enthusiast, I've consistently spoken in favor of bespoke gaming PCs, and the explanation is really quite straightforward. The more PCs you construct on your own, the more you learn how to tinker and troubleshoot with the components. When you create your PC, you're not only learning how to do it, but you're also acquiring more experience. This enables you to address issues as they arise, and what's even better is that, with the appropriate expertise, you can stop any issue from ever becoming an issue for you in the first place. Pre-built gaming PCs do have a case in their favor as well because you do not have to deal with the trouble of setting up everything and worrying that something might go wrong in the process with those systems. Pre-built computers are plug-and-play devices, although it would be much simpler for you in the long run if you ultimately learn how to construct and adjust your PC, we nevertheless advise you to learn how to tamper with computers so that, in the event that something goes wrong, you can just go ahead and correct things without having to worry. We may now proceed to the next phases once you've already chosen all the necessary parts and software solutions. The following stages require assembling the entire PC, which may be a little intimidating for some. Hence, before you begin, we strongly recommend that you pay close attention. If you pay attention here, nothing goes wrong, so that's definitely a positive thing. But we haven't yet discussed the frequent PC building errors that you must avoid because, as their name suggests, they are widespread and can negatively impact your whole experience, which is something that nobody really wants. Because avoiding certain errors is not particularly difficult, it is preferable to research through them so that you're aware of what must be done and what is optional. Actually, this is another item that depends on a variety of variables. As long as the components are working properly and the games aren't causing any issues, a solid gaming computer should endure for years. The best thing about a gaming computer is that, unlike a regular computer, a graphics card is typically the only component that is out of date, so you can always modify that and have a faster computer once more. Thank you for watching and follow for more.